The DRDO has test fired the indigenous technology cruise missile today, which was powered by indigenous manic engine and was also fitted with an upgraded radio frequency seeker. The DRDO is currently evaluating the new engine's performance, and more details will be released in a press release later today. The Indian Army has placed an order for additional 100 units of K-9 Vajra 155mm 52 caliber self-propelled howitzers that will come with high-altitude aerial application and winterization kits for deployment along northern borders and will be built by Larson and Tubro at its facility in Gujarat. A spokesperson of South Korean firm Hanwha Defense has said that a third order for 100 units is also being discussed and the contract will be placed by end of 2023. After completing high-altitude tests of Tri-Cavalry engine, the RDO's gas turbine research establishment is now planning to get hands on the older limited series production model Tejas aircraft, that can be used as a static test airframe for the engine program. Godrej Aerospace is manufacturing six dry cavalry engines that will be used for further sustenance and endurance tests, that will allow to study and fix engine components that are highly prone to degradation. The Tejas will also be used to check and study engine running impact on the aircraft airframe, thermal response, durability and vibration resistance, and also some ground taxi trials. Talks with French firm Safran have not resulted in any agreement, and now the American firm General Electric and British firm Rolls-Royce are competing for the engine development program for India's AMCA Mark II fighter jets. Rolls-Royce has offered to develop a new engine from scratch, so that the engine has growth potential to develop up to 130 kN class of thrust to be used on sixth-generation fighter jets along with intellectual property rights so that India can export the engine to interested countries. General Electric has offered an advanced variant of its F-414 engine for the AMCA Mark II, but there is no clarity on transfer of technology and intellectual property rights. MKU Limited has signed a transfer of technology agreement with the DRDO to indigenize the production of common aircrew helmets and lightweight integrated aircrew helmets. MKU will manufacture the common aircrew helmet for aircraft including the MiG-21 and Jaguar Strike Fighter, Hawk and Kiron trainers, as well as the lightweight integrated aircrew helmet for the Su-30 and MiG-29 fighter jets. Singularity Aerospace has developed an unmanned aerial vehicle named Shoria-1, that can be used as a loitering munition, as well as to conduct intelligence surveillance reconnaissance and logistics missions. It has an endurance of 12 hours, a payload capacity of 10 kg, and is capable of covering a distance of up to 150 km. It has a length of 1.5 meters, a wingspan of 2.5 meters, and can be powered by different propulsion systems depending upon the nature of the mission. The design of the Indian multi-role helicopter has been frozen, and once the approval by Cabinet Committee on Security for the funding is granted, the first prototype will be ready for first flight in the next four years. HAL officials have confirmed that four years of developmental flight testing will be carried out before it is cleared for production. The armies of India and Japan have started a joint training exercise in the Shiga province of Japan, and the scope of this year's exercise covers platoon-level joint training on operations in jungle and semi-urban and urban terrain. Two sides will share best practices in tactics techniques and procedures of conducting tactical operations, in addition to enhancing interoperability and friendship between the two armies. The armies of India and Uzbekistan have started a two-week military exercise Duslik in the northern sector, in which 45 soldiers from each side are participating, with focus on joint counter-terror operations in mountainous and semi-urban scenarios and will include field training exercises, combat discussions, lectures demonstrations and will culminate with a validation exercise.
Thank <laughs> you.